मेरा ये चैनल सब्सक्राइब करें और मेरे हर अपडेट्स आपको मिले इसके लिए बेल आइकन जरूर दबाइएगा ऑल राइट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना क्रिएट एन इमेज जेनरेशन यूजिंग ए आई एंड वी विल यूज एन वीडिया ए पी आई फॉर दैट राइट सो द मेन प्रोजेक्ट विच एन वीडिया सजेस्ट देर इज अ कोर्स फुल कोर्स अबाउट दिस एंड दिस इज इट पाइथन बट वट वी विल यूज इज नोट जेस एंड वी विल क्रिएट ए फ्रॉन्ट एंड यूजिंग रियक्ट जेस राइट सो लेट्स एक्चुअली सी वट वी नीड एंड देन वी विल क्विकली क्रिएट द प्रोजेक्ट सो यूजिंग नोट जेस वट दे आर सजेस्टिंग इज टू यूज दिस नोट फेज देर विल बी एंड इन वोक यू आर एल ऑल राइट देर विल बी द हेडर and then there are some payload so payload is basically what you are uh like whatever you are sending inside the api not inside the api like through the api right so it says under world underwater world plants shells creatures uh, high detail sharp focus 4k whatever it is so the image is generated here if you want to know more about this there is a ui for this see try so here what we can give it is a prompt and then there are parameters as well negative here they have seen if you want uh, they have said if you want to exclude something you can uh, use it here and then there are sampler and all we will we will see these things later on and then there is a configuration scale i guess and steps etc all right so these things we need to provide to the api that is why we have this parameters uh, sorry payload over here and then we will wait for the response and whatever response is there we will send it to the uh, to the front end and we will show the image there all right i don't think there is anything else so we will jump into code and see how things are working right okay so at first we will create the back end for that what i will do i will quickly ah uh, let me use this so we will go to developer and then create a folder name uh what it should be let's say ai image generation or generator and then we will go inside ai image generator and open vs code so the vs code is here what we want to do is we will create the node project right so let's say index.js or you can say server.js this is better i think so server.js and also we will initiate npm here because we have to use packages and all so what we will learn uh, we will uh, what we will add is the uh, npm init and why so so the package.json file is here and we will need some npm packages in this project what we will use is um, let's say yes dot env is a good one and then we can we have to use express because we will create an api for this and uh, course will be there because uh, when you use this there will be some course error in your front end so we need to use this and then axios for handling the api what else do we have course dot env yes this four i guess enough all right so we have the dependencies here we will go to server.js another thing that we can do is we will use nodemon because what nodemon does if you want to run the code if you want to run server.js you need to write node server.js every single time even if you get an error you have to run it again right but what nodemon does is the server will be running constantly and you don't have to refresh you don't have to rerun again and again so nodemon takes care of that okay now what we will do is we will create the project at first we will need express so require express and then we will need axios 
uh, I think I'll just copy and paste. All right. And then what we need is we will create the app as an express app and we will say the app will use course all right and then what we do is we just where is the uh, this one so we copy some of the things like this invoke url we will need this right and then the headers of course we will need but uh, what we will do we will create the api at first and then we will use it there so um another thing that we can do is we will create a an env file and there we will create not create like we will store the api key where you get the api key is from here at first you need to log in uh, this this link will be in the description by the way and then you click on get api key and if you are logged in you will see the api key there right so whatever api key you see from here you just paste it there right so i'll just paste it if it will look like this and then we go back here and say const let's call it api key again and from where we will get it is process env and we named it api key so the api key will be gotten from here all right uh, and then um the express will use json of course so this and we will say we will create the api endpoint like this what's happening here is we created an api endpoint saying generate our image brother and then it has a request res response you know this, this things because you already know node.js right now what this is doing is using axios you are invoking the url not invoking like we are using the invoke url and then we are posting not posting like we are using the post method to send data to the api and then we are getting it back and then send it to the front end so this is the whole process now the body will come from front end that's why we are uh, like um, the data the data will be coming from the front end that is why we we are using this here it will be the payload actually but as we will send it from front end this will be yeah, yeah so much talking now what we will do is we will use the api key here how i am getting this is simply over here you just see this is from the code itself from nvidia itself so we are just copying and pasting most of the things are copy paste right so and here it says the api key will be here we have given this already so api key will be gotten from the environment variable now we will define the port so port can be anything uh, let's say 1312 anything it can be and the app will listen to this port and we will just console log that server is running brother we can use that so everything is done from our end now we go to the front end part let's close this at first and here we come again what we will do is we will go back and then create a react project very quickly let's name it uh, let's say npx create react app and the name will be ai ai image gen front end so the react app is built what we will do is we will go to that uh, ai image 
not this one uh, let me let me just write the emma front end and then we will go inside the code and also let's exit the uh, it did not close whatever now we have the front end code and let's also run this npm run start and here also we will say they here also we will say node mon server.js what is oh okay so node mon and server so it's running it says server is running brother if we go here the react app is here already but i have already written the code for this so let's actually close this one and we will quickly copy and paste because we don't want to waste our time right so what we will do let's actually just change the name at first i don't love this so ai image generator will be the name and we don't have anything else here we will just create a component let's say components and inside that we will have nvidia.js very basic project we are not we are not following any protocol just do it for fun so i'll just copy and paste my old project because i have already done that and i'm lazy to do this again so what we are doing here you understand everything what we are doing we we just have um a basic things some basic things i'll just show you the the ui right away let me let me show you the ui i have an asset folder as well because so inside src source i will add assets and i will add this three to here okay all right and also inside app.js i will add this nvidia um oops this is called pran nvidia right so let's call it nvidia and it should work okay so as we have used axios over here we need to over where over where do we use this axios uh, yes where i think uh, yes here so we have used axios over here what we will do we just do npm install axios and we have it magic but we don't have the design what we will do is we will copy everything and inside app.css just paste everything see voila we have the project ready this is not a very good looking project but we have it see this is working now but if it is working or not we have to test it right so let's test this out uh, what we have done just very quickly if i say is we have this input field and we have this button nothing else right so and and also this things how i am getting this this is all the payload that we have so payload inside payload we have text prompts what is the text prompts we will get it from this input field that is why we have used an use state and there we have this text and we will send this text actually we can have it like this so we will send this text whatever we write here we will send this using the payload to the api and then it will do the work and everything else is there whatever we have is same you can see the sampler is different here why i have done this because the euler one is the best one like it it generates realistic realistic photos you can try this out later on you can change from here like you can experiment this like all the samplers you can try here that's not a problem 
and i don't think there is anything else and also after getting the data from the response we are setting the image as per the image data if you need further explanation i will do that later in in another video but let's not make this longer so let's try this out and we already have this uh, api because this api is not the nvidia api but whichever we have created using express and node.js so let's try this out um what do you guys want to see beautiful girl mm -hmm. so let's say a beautiful girl uh wearing a red dress maybe let's also define these things 20 years old wearing a red dress um in a rose garden let's see this uh, let's say oh let's actually try i don't think it can generate it very mm. oh see magic right so this is our image generation project and we have completely done it congratulations and if you have watched the video till now you know what to do right you know right so like or share talk to the market guys come on like or share talk to the 5000 lot dikh jana chahiye